we met when we were both students. Um, before we were engaged, uh, when we were unofficially engaged, uh, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. She had an attack of that and they gave her a drug and it sorted it out. Uh, she had another one a year later and that sorted that out. Um, and one of the things that was influential for me was his saying that although it was clear from the notes, notes and so on that she had had an attack uh, of MS, um, he couldn't find any evidence of in her, in her body. Hmm. Uh, and for me, that was the kind of um, indication that we should trust God about it. And, um, and I suppose in some ways that's typical of the story of, of trusting God um, through all the way through, which is what we needed to do over the next um, kind of 40 years, really. She got gradually uh, more and more disabled. They told us that um, MS didn't really affect you mentally, but it was either a lie or she was an exception mm -hmm. uh, because she gradually, gradually lost her mental ability. Uh, when we came here, she, uh, that was the point at which she uh, finally lost any ability to walk at all, and so she was wheelchair-bound from the time we came here uh, uh, 20, 21 years ago. She um, eventually passed um, nine years ago, whenever it was. In England and here, she had an extraordinary ministry, uh, and, and it was somehow her incapacity she, that, um, that witnessed to people, that ministered to people, that raised questions for people. People came to her, people, people were attracted to her. Um, people came and wanted to sit with her, sit quiet with her. She enabled them to, to see that simply being and not doing didn't mean you weren't human, didn't mean you weren't a person. At the very beginning, I could have got out of it. We, were, we weren't even engaged. Right. But it was too late <laughs> because we were already committed to each other. We were in love with each other. To give up on that would have been not to be me, to deny myself in a bad way, in a bad sense, mm. uh, to... Yeah, to deny the reality, um, to go back on, 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 on being me. Because I'd fallen in love with her and I'd made a commitment to her. I think you, you've said this and, and written something like this also, that you would be a very different person mm. if you hadn't been married to Anne. Can you think of, can you name some of those things that you suspect would have been quite different for you? Well, I dare say it, it, it is the case that for me, writing is resourcing. Um, and so for me to be, to, to be able to escape from, mm. the, uh, the, from the, the demands of this kind of outward life into working with books and ideas and whatnot, mm. that's, I, I don't think I've really thought about that before, but that, but that's, that would probably be... Writing wouldn't have been so important to me. Uh, and, and the fact that we had to live with that um, meant that um, I ended up a quite different person from the person I was when I was age 25.